My example was always non-European uh, Kanu, the football player. He was also tall like me, <coughs> also Nigerian. And he was a good football player and a likable guy, so he was always an example for me. I'm Dayo, I'm 23 years old. I live in the Netherlands, Groningen. My mother is from the Netherlands and my father is from Nigeria. Have you ever felt different from other kids who are only black or who are only white? Uh, yeah, in primary school, uh, the first few grades, I felt a little bit different because I was the only one who was uh, black and the other kids were all white. And I think my mother told me that I was bullied w once when I was four or something. But later on that all went away and then I felt just like the other kids. So overall I just felt the same as uh, the rest. You felt like the other kids but mm. you never see the color. That people are white, people are black, people are... Yeah, I, I did see a, a difference in color of course. But I just didn't feel different. Uh, I felt like I was the same, I spoke the same language, the same accent, so... When you are a child like that, you inherit two cultures. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, more or less, even mm -hmm. though you are living in the Netherlands and your father is from Nigeria. Did you feel any kind of uh, pressure uh, to adopt one culture? Uh, well, I wanted to adopt both uh, cultures. I was open for both. Uh, of course, I felt more primarily Dutch because I live here, I was born here. But I also wanted to, uh, yeah, I also felt a strong connection with Nigeria, so I also wanted some of that uh, culture. And pressure, I, I didn't really feel pressure to. You didn't that. feel like your mother told you, like, you have to, you know, we are in Holland, you have to do it like this? I didn't really experience it like that. Um, I felt like both parents just like usual parents also if they're both white they also ha they always have l uh, little differences in how they approach things so I didn't really feel like culture had a big uh, part in that and your dad uh, coming from Nigeria yeah. say like no you have to uh, do this because this is how we do it and you have to do that um, according to our culture in Nigeria uh, yeah sometimes a bit but uh, mainly it was just uh, like normal father stuff, father and mother stuff who look at things differently, I think. Uh, but yeah, there were, some, there were some cultural differences, I guess, but I can't really, it's difficult for me to just name them. Food. Yeah. Um, because um, when we talk about culture, uh, also cultural differences, uh, the food always plays a role. Um, mm -hmm. I know parents who um, say, no, you have to eat this because this is what we eat and all of that. Did you feel that kind of pressure that you have to eat Nigeria, for example? Uh, no, I, I think I like Nigerian food more than uh, Dutch food. <laughs> so that was a good thing. Uh, my mom focuses sometimes on not eating too much meat. And in Nigeria, I think that's unheard of. <laughs> so, and I agree more with the Nigerian way than the Dutch way, I guess. But did you feel, uh, while growing up, also a little bit of pressure to adopt and adapt to one side of the uh, culture from people who are close to your mother or people who are close to your uh, father? Uh, uh, no, I, I don't think so. I didn't, didn't feel pressure that way. Both uh, from my uh, Dutch side, they accepted the Nigerian side of my family, and same otherwise, I guess. So there wasn't any pressure. Uh, do you think that's because you live in Groningen, where people are still more welcoming of other things? Yeah, I think it all depends on the region and your family. And my family is very open, very yeah, social, uh, very open to cultural differences. So that wasn't a really big deal in my family. Have you been to the country of your, um, African country of your father? Yes. And when was that, when you went there? Uh, 2008, I was 15. You were 15 when you went to Nigeria? Yes. Did you go voluntarily 
or were you like you had to go? No, I really wanted to go. It was always a dream to uh, go to Nigeria to visit Nigeria. So, uh, and yeah. um, how was the experience? Uh, well, it was completely different from Europe, of course. Uh, it was a lot to take in, uh, a lot of differences, of course. But uh, yeah, it was a great experience. I would love to go uh, back to Nigeria. Oh, you answered my oh. <laughs> question. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, when you went to Nigeria, uh, did you feel different? Yes. Uh, in, in terms of the way people looked at you, what they did with you? Because uh, your skin is lighter. Yeah, my skin is lighter. I speak a different accent, so uh, I'm tall, <laughs> so I always feel a li little bit different. Uh, so yeah, I think I, I did feel different than the local people, because you know I wasn't used to the way they live, okay. and they look at me differently. Probably also because of my skin color. So yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like when you were there, they treated you differently in a way that? Um, they feel like you are white or you are just a visitor? Perhaps they just treated me like a tourist or something, more like that. Okay. We are living in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. um, do you think, have you ever felt discriminated against? Uh, yeah, in high school I had a few difficult uh, moments with uh, classmates who I felt were a bit racist or something. But that was for a very short time, and yeah, mainly no, I haven't really experienced much much discrimination. But can you tell us about that experience um, and why you thought it was racist? Uh, well, it was only the third week or something. Uh, uh, we had class, and he said something yeah about the N word uh, against me for no reason. So I got angry. I chased him, and. Uh, well, after that it was over, <laughs> and it was only him, so it wasn't much. And now at this um, age you are in, you are <coughs> 23, yeah. um, tall, so mm. you stand out. Yeah. So when you are on the street uh, doing your thing, do you feel like people look at you differently or treat you differently? No, I don't, I don't really uh, feel that way, no. So you think you can reach your full potential in this society? Uh, um, you can never be sure about that. I, d I don't know how other people feel me, but you know, I don't try to think all the time like what could be my full potential and do people see me differently. I, d I try not to think about that. I, I think I can reach my full potential. Yeah? What's your view about this um, Black Pete discussion? Uh, I think both sides are uh, a little bit too extreme in their uh, viewpoints, in their standpoints. Um, yeah. At first, I was a, a little bit. I, I could agree with the people who were against Black Pete. On the other hand, I think you know, I think it's all for children. And if children enjoy Black Pete, then they should enjoy Black Pete. I don't really care about that. But I can, I can understand both sides. Uh, you think if the color of Black Pete changes, yeah, you think the children will worry? No. So they could also change the colors. I'm good with that. Yeah. Are you black or white? <laughs> uh, I'm neither, I think. What are you then? Uh, I guess a mix, brown, <laughs> I don't know. The reason I'm asking is um, when when somebody is black, yeah. uh, wherever they come from, they have a feeling like, okay, what? this is my color, I'm black, this is my heritage, yeah. they talk about all the other stuff. And the Europeans also, they do the same thing. and. But, you know, children who are in between are yeah. trying to find out how they feel. Uh, what is their sense of belonging? Yeah. Uh, what is their roots? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think most people, if you uh, would ask a, uh, a Dutch person if I'm black or white, <laughs> they will say I'm black. Uh, but myself, I feel a little bit of both. I feel 50-50. I feel Dutch. Um, but I also feel a uh, strong connection with uh, the Nigerian uh, heritage. So, yeah, and I'm good with that. I don't need the label black or white. Well, why do you think white people yeah. always look at a person like yourself and say he's black? 
And when a black person looks at you also, mostly they say, oh, probably it's black. Yeah. So why do white people not, especially the white people never say, oh, it's white? Uh, probably because I have strong African features. I, I have a different skin color, so that's why they yeah. see me as different and yeah, more exotic or whatever. <laughs> so they see me as black. But black people could say the same. Like you don't have the thick black color that we have. You have mm. light in skin uh, yeah. color, so you are white. Yeah. But black people don't worry about that. What do you mean? Black people don't worry about that? Uh, they just accept that oh, you're black. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel most Dutch people also accept that I'm whatever, that I'm black or whatever. I, that's cool with me. I don't, I don't really mind. Have you, um, and you don't have to answer this, mm -hmm. have you uh, uh, dated before? Yeah. And you well, for a short again? time, yeah. Also, um, when you are dating, um, does color matter? Uh, pro perhaps for if you're attracted to white people, you're attracted to white people. It's nothing you can change about it. But overall, I don't think color matters in a relationship on a personal level. No, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking you personally. Your uh, for you, um, yeah. do you see color when you are dating? No, I just look if I, if I like someone, if if she looks nice, then it can be any ethnicity. Doesn't really matter. Last question. I really want you to think about it. It's a very fundamental question. It doesn't sound like it, but it is important. Yeah. Who are your role models in in the society? My role models? Yeah. Uh, Do you have role models? Do you have people in the Dutch society, in the European society, that you look up to and say, okay, when I grow up, I want to be like that person? Like a famous person or something? Or or a family yeah, member, yeah, anyone? It could be, yeah, maybe family member, but generally, uh, the it's like when you look at the television, for example, who do you see there and say, "Hey, this guy, I want to be like him." Uh, I don't know any European person. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know. My my example was always non-European, uh, Kanu, the football player. He was also tall like me, <coughs> also Nigerian, and he was a good football player and a likable guy, so he was always an example for me. But a European person, no, I don't know. So your role model oh. is actually Nwanku Kanu, yeah. footballer, yeah. Nigerian. Yes. Okay, that's very interesting. It's surprising you are not looking up at uh, Derek Kalt. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's surprising, really. No. But yeah, what you said, Kanu is more like a, I can identify more with Kanu because and he's Nigerian, and he's tall <laughs> as well, and he's and he played forward, and I also like to play forward, so that's things that I can identify with, I guess. Okay. So yeah, I agree with uh, what you just said. Yeah. Uh, is there anything you uh, want to add? Uh, no. It's, uh, okay. Uh, by the way, we've been to Poland. Yeah. Um, when you go to other uh, European countries, do you feel a difference between how people look at you, treat you here, than other <coughs> places that know you've been to Spain? Also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I do feel like people stare at me more than here in the Netherlands. Maybe because they're not as used to uh, black people uh, around there. But yeah, I do feel more different uh, when I'm in Poland or in Spain than in the Netherlands. Uh, could that be because, because in your case it's a little bit complicated? Um, could it be because <laughs> of your height? <laughs> could be. Uh, it could be. Could be both. I, I don't know. It's. I, c I can only guess. I haven't asked people personally. Why do you look at me that way? Okay, we can end um, the. Uh, okay. Thank you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. You don't? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Who wants you to come? Yeah, but I have a lot of Engels. Yeah, but I think it's good. Your English is outstanding.